this is our product that we are very proud to, to present to you, made in Belgium. And in our opinion, the most advanced uh, rapid deployment surveillance system that's on the market right now. It, uh, it allows one engineer to install a fully functional, functional autonomous surveillance camera in only 15 minutes. And we'll show you how that looks in, the, in a couple of steps. So first to install the bracket, most of the time that's installed or, or connected uh, to a pole. Uh, but you can, if, if you use longer straps, you can even uh, install it temporarily to a tree or whatever kind of uh, form you like. Afterwards, you attach the units, the MobiCam to it. You slide in the batteries, just like that. The battery also uh, fixates the, the unit, so then everything is locked in. And you switch it on. Um, I realize I don't have a picture of the inside that shows a power switch, but I'll get on that uh, after this. Um, you can also add a lock or a steel wire if you really want to uh, want to secure it to the pole. Um, so about some of the features, uh, one of them is the, is the privacy by design part. So what actually is one of the features of the system is that the, the, the access to the recordings that are done on USB and the battery are, are separated. So you can actually uh, use a different engineer or type of profile to, to swap the battery if you want. They won't have physical access to the recordings, which is quite important in our use case. What we also boast is the, is the best battery uh, in the industry. We have uh, two versions that are commonly available, working on a third version right now. One kilowatt hour, which uh, has four days with the Access Q36, or two kilowatt. Um, they are quite heavy, but because of the, the good handle, um, they are quite easy to manipulate. And they have a waterproof slide system to connect to the backside of the MobiCam uh, and inside of the bracket. So when you say best battery in the industry, uh, what's the second best battery? Because I'm not really uh, up the, on, <laughs> on the, the rapid best versus the market. <laughs> yes. All right, yeah. Okay, well, the, the, the best uh, in a mobile system that, of course, has more or less the same physical, uh, physical size and, and weight, uh, the best we saw is, is 72 hours while we oh. have uh, seven days. So that's quite a difference. Okay. Yeah. Also, something that's quite important in many use cases is the fact uh, the system has a USB storage. Uh, I just realized I didn't have a picture of the insides of the MobiCam just before I started this presentation. So I went to, to our demo model and took a bad picture with my phone, but there it is. So this is what's, uh, what's inside. You see uh, a USB port uh, that's connected to, this is a solid state uh, drive. It also has um, an adjustable bracket, so you can, uh, you can use any kind of uh, solid SSD drive that you, that you want. And apart from that, you only have the SIM card slot and the on-off switch, that's it. So it's a really, really easy uh, system to use. Uh, you have a screen that actually shows you the status of the battery, so uh, whenever you're going down after installing it, you can make sure you, you put a, a full battery in, which uh, avoids going back up again. Some other uh, good features is uh, the fact that, well, the security by design part. Uh, what the, the first thing MobiCam does when it boots up is, uh, is build an encrypted connection to the, to the backend, to our portal. Uh, and that actually makes that no, no traffic ever goes outside without being unencrypted. So whatever you can, network you connected to, uh, you are sure that, that nothing can be sniffed or, uh, or no man in the middle attacks or something like that. An interesting use case is the fact you can connect it to the lighting grid. So what we have in our office is like a demo lighting pole and we have a, a IP76 uh, power connector that's there, the yellow one. And uh, well, if you, if you are allowed to, uh, to tap off the, the lighting grid, uh, the whole system only uses around seven watts. So that won't be the problem. You can really uh, easily have a permanent camera because you can allow it to, to charge during the night when lighting is on and uh, run on battery during the day. This is quite easy and really cost effective. If you want to have a semi-permanent camera, you can just add a, an outdoor power outlet and you're done, which is from a infrastructure point of view, really cheap. And of course, also Ethernet. It has an Ethernet port. Uh, that's also IP67. Uh, I always mix those up. Um, and it can also be equipped with power over Ethernet, the, the standard 48 volts up to 30 watts or the passive uh, 24 volts uh, for, for example, point-to-point um, -point connection. 
some action photos. So when you look at it in the in the street view, when when walking on the street, uh, you you see it's a really subtle, a really subtle uh, appearance. So that's one of the USPs. Uh, uh, general people, when installing uh, this mobile camera, they won't notice it because it's that subtle. Have you found it already on the picture? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. The portal, the software, it comes with a portal that, that makes it, uh, that makes it a ready-to-use system, everything. You don't need a, v a VMS. You can use it, but you're not, you don't uh, require it. Uh, and I'll give a live demo of, um, of the two uh, demo systems we have. So the left one is one, uh, when I click it, you authenticate. Currently, we support um, OpenAuth from Google or Azure or Active Directory. Um, and when you when you open your camera or open the portal, the first thing you see is is my MobiCam. So every camera you you have uh, connected to your account, you see um, a still shot, and uh, you have these buttons on top where you can. Uh, well, let's just click them and see what happens. Of course, with a mobile system, it's interesting to see where it is. So with one click, uh, it connects to the GPS. The camera, the MobiCam has a GPS on board and you get a real time situation of uh, where it is. Um, from a privacy point of view, uh, you can also hide or show uh, the current images. This, this all functionality can also be connected to your user. So if you have a user, for example, that only is allowed to check on the battery, you can hide uh, the video. Uh, which also is the same privacy by design uh, thing on the software side. You can really make a separation between your technical crew and the crew that actually manages or manipulates the, the video. Um, and the two uh, open and close buttons, they open up uh, like a, a resume of, of the system status of the whole uh, MobiCam. So you see the power, you see one of them is connected uh, to the grid, the other one is uh, running on battery with the voltage. We're currently calculating to give you a percentage or a, a ETA of, uh, of how long it's going to last. Um, uh, you have the signal. Uh, one of them is connected to the network on the, on the bridge one, eh? like the wide, uh, the wide area network. One of them is connected to uh, LTE. You see the storage with the percentage available, uh, how the status of the GPS is and the camera. And of course, you can go, uh, you have click, you have uh, quick menus to go to your um, still frames or your video, or you can configure it. So let's take a look on one of the cameras when you click on it. When you go inside, you see a more um, elaborate version of what we just saw before. Um, and actually what's also what's quite important is that of course, most of these units will run on 4G mobile network. So they will have a data limit. Um, uh, many uh, providers, they, they say they have a limited uh, subscription, but in fact, it's, it's uh, limited to 20 gigabytes or something, which in streaming video terms is not that much. So uh, everything is built for low bandwidth. Uh, also, uh, looking at the video, we try to push the users to using uh, still frames. Actually, when nothing is moving, of course, that's not interesting. But the Portuguese one is aimed at the street. So you now just, does, can like, can someone use any camera? Do you guys provide the cameras? Uh, can, no. they, can, can it support a PTZ? Yeah, it can support a PTZ. I'll okay. get back, I'll get back to that uh, uh, later on. Uh, okay. we're talking about uh, our business model. So, um, but actually, no, we don't, we don't uh, offer it with the camera. An integrator actually is, is uh, well, should be, should be the best uh, person to pick a model to put under it. Um, but we do, and um, we do provide this interface for every kind of camera, and we do try to push towards these these still images just from a bandwidth point of view. If you if you have a, an abundance of bandwidth, oh yeah, there it is, uh, and you don't care about um, about what uh, what's going on with your with your data limit, you can start a live stream. I just noticed right, that. like if you're on a point to point. Like hardware, yeah, or if you have a real unlimited 4G, yeah, 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 indeed. So then it should, uh, you click that link and it should start the uh, Archer Speed stream from the camera and, and take it to the portal. Now, but is I've it noticed... a single camera per unit? Uh, well, you could use the second port to add a different camera or a second one, but then of course it goes, uh, well, it also drains from the battery. So I don't know the use case uh, for that. Could be, you can do that, but um, yeah, it's possible. Okay. 
So what you see here probably is that the reception of the 4G isn't that great. That's what we probably are looking at right now because when I go at, uh, at the Belgian one, which is connected to like a, a normal internet uh, line, like a VDSL, mm -hmm. then you probably, well, there will be nothing moving in the image, but it'll be smooth. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, of course, um, recordings, when doing uh, video surveillance, you need recordings. So when clicking at the recordings button, you go to the time frame or to, the, to this, this bar that allows you to select uh, a time frame. Now it's put on one month, but I just swapped the, the disk, so it'll only have a recording from today. So when I um, put the slider on today, you get the recordings that are made uh, well, today. You can preview them. Actually, in real life, it takes a bit more time, but it's cached, <laughs> but right. it should take a bit more. Uh, but this video file is not cached, and when I, when I click it, uh, you see more or less how smooth it goes. So it, you see here, it uh, only starts to download from the 4G or one connection when you start playing, and then you see the first, uh, which is Indra, our colleague, the first one to enter the office this morning. Uh, and of course, it records on um, motion. So you can uh, configure the alerts in uh, your camera that you put under it, and then uh, it uses OnViv to, to trigger, and then uh, the MobiCam starts recording from the RTSP. It's not the FTP push. It's a recording that we built inside of the unit. Okay, what else? Um, yeah, something also quite important. When you, of course, integrators, most of the time, not your end customer, but integrators, they often le need to go in into the settings of the camera. So what we offer through this portal is a secured way of opening the interface of the camera that's under the, under the MobiCam or connected to the MobiCam. That's in this case, uh, an access camera, um, but it can be any camera that is, uh, that, uh, is Profile G or Profile S uh, compliant. So actually the MobiCam uses Profile G to connect to the camera, configures all of the streaming profiles and so on. And uh, when clicking on, the, on this camera settings link, you go to the interface, the username and password was cached inside my browser. So that's why I didn't have to put it in, but uh, you just open up the interface as it is. And here you see another unit uh, ready to be shipped with a protective case for the camera. That's uh, Standing ready there. So, okay. Anything more about the, the, the software? The, I think. Uh, I so I, a couple questions. Um, sure. So that's the camera's recording. What you're viewing, you were sort of pulling there was from the USB storage that's on the Mobi cam. Uh, is there, are you going to get to uh, talking about like VMS integration? Can you have it, you know, stream to a VMS for primary recording um, or can a VMS pull from the MobiCam yep. cam as so like actually, IVFG? Yeah, so that's that's the next slide. So that's a good good question. Uh, I can visualize it right away. The the Mobi cam actually talks profile S to the camera that's connected to the to the Mobi cam itself, and it also offers uh, profile on this profile S or profile G if you want the edge recording yep. to any VMS that supports that. Right. Uh, what's the challenge there? Uh, when we look at the market, at least the, the cases that we, that we supplied right now, is that you have uh, all types of connectivity to take care of. For example, uh, typically for this solution, you, need, you uh, are using uh, public LTE, like 4G connection. Yep. And what, uh, what's on there, uh, which is in a small uh, part in the, is, is in the corner here, is carrier-grade NAT. So that means that, that your interface, your, your network, doesn't get a public IP. Yep. No way to, to, um, to connect to it directly. So what we offer there, just to keep it, to keep the whole, uh, the whole thing really um, uh, manageable and, and straightforward, is we offer a MobiCam appliance okay. that actually uh, well, can be used as a VPN or, or connectivity concentrator for the MobiCam. So you can, uh, you can use it, um, you can use that either to connect uh, to your video management system if you don't want to use a portal or you can also use it to to run the mobi cam uh, in a totally private network so uh, if you if you have private lte or you only want to use your private uh, connectivity like point to point wireless or, or point to point wireless you can use that so that's why we also offer the 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 mobi cam appliance okay. which is like a rack rack mountable unit so it's not something like that just could be like software installed in a virtual server or something 
No, because, uh, well, the reason is we, we, we really want to, we have a lot of um, management connectivity or management um, interfacing going on with the portal uh, when looking at the GPS, at the battery status, and so on and so on. So okay. we, 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 want to try, we want to offer that in a boxed way. But of course, we understand uh, the need to connect to a, to a VMS too. So this is an elegant, elegant solution that, that really keeps it more or less plug or play. Uh, yep. uh, and you can, you can tackle any kind of uh, situation or network situation going on. Okay. Okay. So uh, for this year, the roadmap for the MobiCam is we'll add, uh, uh, on board, we'll add a LoRa uh, gateway. So we can, uh, we can also uh, connect the MobiCam uh, to uh, wireless sensors. So you can add like a, a motion sensor or uh, I don't know, for some urban projects, uh, a, a sound sensor or or whatever, just to, to make it a bit more intelligent. Um, we also will add dual SIM, so you can have more data or, or backup data. Uh, and we're also, at this point, combining it with a high-speed uh, NPR camera. Uh, we're testing with, uh, with the Genetech Sharp uh, to be well to offer a mobile um, uh, NPR solution that, that has uh, three days of battery life, which is quite, uh, quite good. If you search for uh, MobiCam on YouTube, uh, we have some good videos where you can get a real visual view of, of how it's installed. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and take, a, take a look at that. So our market approach. Um, so the MobiCam is designed, uh, well developed by the Safe Group. We are a Belgian integrator. Uh, what you see below the small, the small icons, uh, well, we're actually, uh, we have a high, we are a highly specialized integrator in, in temporary uh, solutions. So we provide all the big festivals in Belgium of, of camera surveillance, and then we moved more or less to the to the public uh, sector, such as cities and police uh, city networks uh, of cameras. Um, uh, and this is the way we. we we started working on this battery powered solution. Uh, but what's really nice is that we have firsthand experience as an integrator. So we, we actually have uh, experience with, with uh, installing these cameras and also have deployed uh, already 300 Mobi cams in Belgium ourselves. So we know, uh, we know what, what, uh, what an integrator wants or we hope we know uh, and we, we try to support it as much as possible. Why is the left side of the M missing? It's a, it's, that's like a designer choice. You don't think it's slick? It's cool, it just, no? I wasn't sure if it maybe it was supposed to look like an antenna or something like that. I was just curious why the... Someone is going to be really in insultant when, <laughs> 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 when I tell him. Okay. Um, carrying on. So what we want to do is actually we, we really believe in the, in the classic supply chain. So we, we, we are actually looking today for distributors, integrators, of course, uh, because we really think um, that, that that makes sense. Uh, and, and I have another slide that actually uh, puts some, some uh, well, that tells you why, because uh, the, we think um, that integrators will have a possibility to, to tilt or to slightly adjust their business model or service model. Uh, they can add a lot of more contact points with their, with their uh, end customers because this, this is a really uh, agile solution. You can, you can just, a customer can decide from one day to the other or can decide, I need camera surveillance on this town square or I don't know, the harbor, I don't know, anywhere. And you can just install um, 50 cameras with four tech guys in one day. It's perfectly possible. So that's also, if, if you take that situation and you are able as an integrator to, to get that, those possibilities inside, of the, inside your market, so the, the realization that that's possible and you really can um, react to, to challenges, security challenges or monitoring challenges that fast, uh, then it makes sense to have, of course, a local distributor that has a good stock because it's not, uh, if you have this solution, uh, actually, in Belgium today, it happens a lot. So we get a phone call. Okay, we need 10 cameras tomorrow. And we are able to deliver that. But if, if you get the same phone call, I don't know, in Brazil or somewhere, and you don't have a local distributor, it gets a, a bit more uh, difficult to do that. So that's why we actually believe in this model and also the fact that, that uh, integrators can really profit from that. Um, so we are focusing on long-term partnerships. We also have a business model that, that has... Um, 
uh, statuses for the integrators. That's based, of course, on the turnover, but also on the level of uh, expertise. We have trainings, documentation, and we also try to uh, focus on um, yeah, using uh, important stuff like data security and, and best practice network uh, connectivity and so on. The question every everyone wants to know, the pricing. So this is our um, end user pricing. Um, well, we don't have a lot of uh, units or, or options, so it's quite, uh, the price list is quite limited and pretty straightforward. Um, we'll add stuff like, like the, uh, the waterproof ethernet cable, the waterproof power cable, and also uh, the protective case that you just saw in the picture uh, of the MobiCam. But uh, well, the, the main things are pretty straightforward. Our team. Also, Peter is here uh, with me. He's awfully quiet. <laughs> okay, still quiet. Um, he probably, he probably designed the logo and he's mad now. So. <laughs> yeah, he's crying somewhere. No, he, he didn't. No, luckily so this, I didn't. No. <laughs> He's, uh, he's my, my partner in crime. Uh, we, we're both running the safe group and also MobiCam. So we're, uh, we're part of the team, of course. Then we have Sophie from marketing. Sibyl and Matthias who do our finance and administration. And uh, we have Peter, Tom and Lenny who are the leading R&D department, soft, software and hardware. Those three guys actually did the, 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 the hardest work <laughs> on the solution. And then we have Marco and Susanna who are probably listening in the, in the audience uh, who will be available in our private uh, Zoom session, or not private, but the limited one, afterwards who are in Portugal and actually doing uh, most of the business development from there. So we, uh, we launched a branch office in, in Porto uh, start of this year and tried to attack uh, the world market from, from there. So yeah, the go-to market strategy. Um, so what we're doing now is, is trying to, to find the good partners, the partners that are willing to take the leap, that, that see how this adds a real add val added value to their portfolio, that also understand how simple it is and, and powerful at the same time. And um, we offer, of course, we offer good, good pricing, not for sale, not for resale units, uh, strategic project pricing. And we try to to, to offer that to integrators uh, wherever, but of course uh, focused on a long-term relationship. And then we, we really want to build the success stories and those can be used to, to build our distribution network because of course we won't find, uh, well, we don't expect to find a distri distributor that, that will stock 100 units tomorrow. So why should you uh, offer this as a as an integrator? It's very easy to explain the product, and what we all what we all of the time uh, notice it when you when you uh, you demonstrate it or you tell what what's possible. And the the customers they they all they all of them they find the way of of using it or find the situation where they can take advantage of it. Um, what you also can do is offer video surveillance or other kinds of surveillance if you connect the sound sensor or anything to it, um, uh, where, where you can't do it today because of power, because of connectivity. Uh, you can do it and you can do it tomorrow if you want. It can be up and running by the end of today even, uh, uh, if you wish. Um, of course, it's incredibly flexible. It's logistically different, the rollout, but it's viable. I mean, you, you will have a lot of more contact moments with your, um, with your customer. You can have, uh, well, you can hear him instead of one big project uh, every couple of years, you can hear him every month. Uh, but that's actually good, uh, having a lot of, uh, well, solving a lot of problems of your customer and having a lot of contact. And, um, well, it's also great for introducing rental or as a service model to your uh, to your business. So that's an easy way of facilitating that too. I don't know what happens to this slide. This should be in the style, but okay. Um, so that's it. Um, oh. Hey, uh, a couple oh, questions. That's, that's why. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Questions are welcome. And, and we have a, a different Zoom if, if we go over the time. Thanks. Yeah. Quick, uh, quick question. The cost for that accessory to connect to utility, the lighting, do you know what that roughly would be or is that the literally cable? just a power cord that's just a power cord. okay so each unit has the plug on it yeah, there's it comes, no like it comes standard with it yes of course okay so it's a power cord yeah <laughs> okay um so do <laughs> you so um mobicam does it you don't offer that rental um service you're basically saying uh, an integrator or a dealer could purchase five of these and rent them out 
to their own basically customer base. Yeah, yeah. Also, we're looking at it financially with the end user pricing, and we, we offer good uh, we offer good discounts for integrators. That's that's viable. I mean, that's a, a, the business um, plan for that will be quite straightforward. As far as um, the battery sort of life, you know, you mentioned um, seven days, uh, sort of uh, up and running. But but what about replacement? Like how long? You may have you may have said this, but how long do you expect? Like how many years do you expect those batteries to to hold power? Are they lithium ion? Is there a special like sort of charging process for them? Yeah, they're lithium ion. Uh, they're they're like uh, the the same batteries that are put in the Tesla. Actually, their lifespan is really um, also heavily connected to their circumstances they are they are using. So if you if apart from the country you're in, um, uh, if they are put outside uh, in in freezing cold circumstances, this will this will affect lifetime. But we are quite certain that they will last for three years if you use them continuously and you don't abuse them uh, by keeping them for example eight months uh, without any charge then of and course is there like a recycling die. program where like they would send an old one in and get a new one and pay for the new one or how, how well, does it, that work currently we're we're, we're, uh, we're we have been deploying this battery system for three years and we have we have had the um, no questions about that. I think the, the worst shaped battery that we found in Belgium, and we have like an average climate with, with quite some lows, but also some highs. We had 40 degrees Celsius last year, and the year before we had minus 10. So that's that's quite a big a big difference. Uh, it's it degraded for 70% of its capacity. So at this point, we don't have any experience with that, and we haven't really um, well, thought that through, to be honest, but um, uh, we will look into that. Of course, the battery is an essential part of right. the uh, of the MobiCam and the cost of the battery, well, actually is, is, is also uh, uh, based upon the parts that, that uh, the assembly is, is pretty straightforward. The designing wasn't, but the assembly is pretty straightforward for us. Yep. So um, that'll, that'll be... Yeah, that'll be something good. Good tip. Something we have to to look at. Uh, we should. I mean, at this point, we 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 can tell customers if you use it, uh, you use it straight on every day, uh, well, or every week. You change it. You can easily use it for three years, and maybe maybe just calculate replacing it after three years. Right. If you have some, uh, if you have like extreme temperature circumstances that that cause degradation, uh, degrading. Because if you have a strong winter, uh, you have five strong winters or five soft winters winters every year that actually has a big influence on the battery yep now uh, is there room to fit like any additional hardware inside the mobi cam someone asked uh to fit and power a small like intel nuc or even like a raspberry pi uh no no uh we offer it as a as a ready-made solution um and we don't we don't um well of course you can if you if you uh, if you break it open you can install anything you want in it but uh, that's that's really isn't the the business model um, at this point no okay um, last sort of question would be you know because you're part of that uh, the safe group you know sort of an integrator firm for for any sort of dealers in Europe you know that would have concerns. You know, can you give like a 30 second answer of like the delineation between the safe group and MobiCam and maybe a dealer not wanting to, you know, sort of, of get course. involved? Valid, really a valid point. Yeah. Um, well, uh, the safe group as a, as a pretty straightforward strategy, we will not go uh, abroad. We will not do business outside of Belgium unless maybe for specialized festivals. If we have like big events that require our expertise, we will make an exception, but we won't go into city surveillance or anything like that outside of Belgium. We also, we also started uh, a separate uh, company. Uh, well, one of already that's, that's operational in Portugal that's focused on MobiCam and another one that's uh, uh, operating from Belgium, um, MobiCam BV, uh, legal entity. So, so we are making the division and we have different uh, business plans. The only thing uh, is that we, of course, the, the, the only concern should be for Belgian integrators to be to be to be really right. honest, because of course we will use our own product for our own advantage in our own market, which okay. is pretty straightforward, of course. Okay.